Hello friends, this is Umesh Arora from CATCAM Solution Mirror, and today we will create contour profile in five axes. How we will do? I will show you. Just I have a this part, and this is my solid part, and I have created this part using revolve feature. So let's go to manufacturing, and before starting the tutorial, I will request you, if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe our channel. and press the bell icon for latest updates so here in manufacturing uh, first of all i will define this work piece so click over this work piece and here my part is this you can select it and specify the blank and this time i am assuming this part is offset about 0.5 so 0.5 of this part is my blank click over it now we will define a tool so create new tool and my tool is this and will and 10 diameter 10 and length click here so that we can see it properly and holder Holder and retrieve the holder from the library. And here we have in library so many holders are available. But I am going to take this medium compression holder. See, this is our review. Tool is a little bit big, so reduce reduce some length and flute length as well. Okay, or if you are taking this as a solid. Flute. At that time, you have to go here, and here we have solid carbide tool. Okay. And now here, from the operation under this mill multi-axis, we have a lot of operations. But today we will do this contour profile, and we will use this operation in five axis. so my program location is program which is here this folder the my program will generate under this program folder and this end mill is my tool geometry is my workpiece which i have i have already specified this is workpiece and finishing is my method so first specify floor so my floor is this click here and okay and uh, here specify wall and wall is not generated so just remove this automatic wall and we will define manually this wall so this is my wall see okay here in profile it is okay and tool already we have specified and tool axis it is automatically keep it automatic and uh, under this cutting parameter if you want to cut in a single pass so no need to change here and let's start with this single cut okay first we will try the single in first cut and later we will change it under this non cutting move okay no problem just define this speed and speed rest we will define after generating this so spindle speed and my feed okay and generate so the tool cannot uh, contact the specified floor so the tool path follow the wall bottom instead okay no problem it is following the wall bottom see now i want to define this height so click here in cutting parameter don't take this pass we have to select this multi depth and i am assuming my depth is 40 and increment i am taking as 5 now generate
it takes time so uh, this is our tool path let's verify it click here okay our tool is rotating again and again so we will change this in non cutting move we have between approach and approach select the shortest path and for departure select this shortest path and within region same as between it will automatically take and here this clearance so for common clearance i am taking this cylinder and my center point is this and axis vector is this z axis and 40 is this diameter 40 i think it is less than our diameter so take it 55 click okay now click okay and uh, rest are same just click for this generate tool path will generate again and now we will see how tool is working generate it so this is a new tool path it is retracting up to this clearance plane we will just click it ok and ok and here in MCS mill we have this clearance so I am taking this clearance as 3 and again we will generate this so this is our result now and if you verify so this display will come okay just click stop it and okay now I am just copying this operation right click and copy this tool path and paste this tool path inside the work piece and again I want to do some changes and this so for the second operation I have a surface for this second operation now double click over this and we have already specified the floor but this time I want to specify this auxiliary floor so this is my auxiliary floor and this floor I have removed and wall is same and contour profile and rest options I am taking as same just generate now my toolpath will follow this this uh, planner face this auxiliary face it will follow this auxiliary face see how the result is coming see this time my toolpath is parallel to my auxiliary flow Okay, this is my auxiliary flow and if we will generate this we will get this result okay or in 3d dynamic if i will see this okay i have already done this so click ok and ok and this is my first one so verify in 3d dynamic and play 0.5 is our offset so this is cutting okay this is our first tool path result now right click over it and here in tool path we have this delete option so first tool path my first tool path has deleted now verify this second one and and second tool path you will see now tool is cutting uh, according to the our auxiliary floor 